Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Cooking with Brenda and David. Sadie's going back to school, so can't have Sadie. Um, well, tonight we're going to make stir-fried chicken, and I've been making it since my daughter was little, so I've been making it for probably 32 years or 34 years. And I'm going to just make my version of it, and I've got a couple of tablespoons of oil in there, and I've got four medium-sized chicken breasts, and I've already cut them up into cubes. What kind of oil is that? Pencil? No, it's extra virgin olive oil. Oh. So, um, I'm going to just cook this chicken real quick, and I've done washed all my stuff. My chicken so might have broccoli. <laughs> I used the same knife. <laughs> So that's just cut up chicken breast or something? Mm -hmm, just cut up chicken breast. Okay. Boneless chicken breast. I don't like that old fat stuff on that. Now, I'm going to tell you now that everybody can use a more, plenty of more stuff you can add in here. And, uh, Whoopsie daisy. You know, you can use water chestnuts, you can use big long green beans, but I just get all that, and sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Now, I want to tell you something. Um, I want to give some thanks to some people. My... I've got some gifts and I want to thank everybody for them. I got some cards and I want to thank everybody for the cards. It was so very nice. They're so nice. Yeah, that is and, nice. And um, you got you some cards. Yeah, and I want to thank you for the spatula. I love it. I love it. It's so nice. I couldn't believe it when I got it. I'm like, oh, I love it. That's heavy duty. Yeah, I didn't even know it existed. So I know that everybody knows about stuff that I don't know about. And the card is so pretty. And there's another card from a subscriber and she's. And I want to thank her for that. What did it do with it, David Hall? I don't know. You had that one that was a pop-up. That, that was really yeah, cool. I love that card. Okay. It's so cool. Look at that. Yeah, that is cool. Look at that little basket. Isn't that cute? <laughs> and the card pulls out like this. And, and thank you, Kim. Okay. Um, also, I got... Um, I already had those. I don't know how they're there. Anyway, I got... I've never seen a pop-up card before. That's kind of neat. They got a different name on yeah. them, too. I've never heard of them. Yeah. I'm glad they don't even put the price on them. That's great. <laughs> Down here, you get Hallmark or something. They got the price on the back. Who cares what it costs? Okay, I got this, these three, and another one. And I don't know who sent them, so I just want to tell you thank you. I love them. These, these are silicone, and they're lined with cotton. I just love them. Yeah, I've never seen nothing like that before. I've seen them before somewhere. And the measuring cup, it's got numbers on it. <laughs> and the towel, this towel is really nice, too. And I just want to say thank you. I love them. This is the first time I started getting gifts. Of course, we just put the P.O. box on there. So I love them. Thank you very much, everybody. So this is stir-fried chicken. Yeah, I'm cooking my chicken first. So what kind of ingredients are you going to put with it? Well, you'll see when I put them. How about that? And I've already cooked my rice. Oh, yes, ma'am. Well, let's wait till we put them. We're showing yet. You're supposed to soak that. Uh oh You're supposed to soak the chicken in soy sauce, and I did it. Okay. Soy sauce and water. I forgot, but it'll still be the same. I forgot before it'll be the same. I need some more, though. I got to go on up to some more, and I hope to do. But um, it'll still be okay. I've done it before and forget. As long as it's got some in it, it doesn't matter. I love that special, though, and I've already washed it and everything, and I had it over here, but I wanted to say thank you. I really like it. It's nice. I need to put my hair up. I don't like that ponytail back there. You mean pause so you can do it? It's up to you. I'll just leave it right there. It's okay. I'm going to use this. I've already been using it. We had two other shows. We had lasagna. Yeah, we had lasagna and uh, chicken alfredo. And both of those got messed up. Somehow the camera didn't didn't record the beginnings. And now I'm and sorry. I know people's requested lasagna, but yeah. I won't be able to make it again for a little well, while. Well, I've only years. got the second and third halves of it. I don't have the first half, so we're going to have to redo them someday. It probably cost me twenty-five to thirty dollars to make it look yeah. funny with well, all the cheese. Yeah. I'm eat. watching the camera, to make sure it's still working. I, this little cell phone is this is Galaxy number one, whatever. So it's not really hanging in there too well. But you know. I offered you another one, and I offered yeah. you a phone. So. Well, I'll get I'll, I'll get something modern later on. I'm just gonna go ahead and get you a new one soon. I'm gonna get it soon. 
but I got to make sure this thing is still the little counter is still clicking away. That's what happened. I guess I must have touched it or. Well, I really hate that on the lasagna. The, the chicken alfredo I can make any time, but the lasagna just. The chicken so much. alfredo was pretty cool though. Cause... Alfredo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to give you some speech lessons. Or something. Well, I don't know how to talk that French stuff. French. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it is, who knows, but I can say it. Surely you can. Chicken Fredo. Alfredo, you ding dong. Ding dong, wake up. <laughs> <laughs> I tell everybody that David used to really be shy, and I'm not kidding you, and then I happened. So, man, I really changed David on that. He's, he's you brought very, me all my he's shyness. He's verbal now, but he didn't used to be. <laughs> you probably would have never heard him say anything when his earlier life because he just wouldn't have. He'd be up here on the film, and I was the first time he'd be like, Duh, are you saying that about this kid? <laughs> We're too nuts, you know. So, I, I sure did. So you, how long do you cook this? Until it's done, honey. I don't know. you got to get the chicken done. It smells good already. I, I could know. eat it just like that. It's always soft. Whew. If you want to, go ahead and pause, and I'll go look for me some more. Go ahead and look for some more. I'll let my chicken cook. I've had this pot for a long time, and look, it don't handle scratches. Got to use the right tools in it. I've had this pot for a long time. Look at that. Pot. I like for you to make gravy and biscuits like y'all used to make back in the olden days. I thought I've already made it. I haven't. I don't remember. I don't think. You know what? Somebody did want a big breakfast, but I think I made gravy and biscuits. I want gravy and biscuits and bacon and country ham. Just like Grandma used to make. Hey, that country ham you eat a couple weeks ago is all you get for about a month or two. You walk around hard and I'm dizzy. I know he is sometimes, and I am too, but you know what? I was born dizzy. <laughs> was you really? Was you really? No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll pause while you go look for some more soy sauce. Look what I'm doing, folks. I couldn't find any, so now i got to use these little packages. And look at that. Every time he goes and gets Chinese, look at that mess. It's going in the trash yeah, in just a minute. You like that old Chinese crap, and you save those little packages, so it's a good thing you saved them. You shouldn't be saying it like that. Well, I mean, I ain't Chinese much... Chinese crap? Good time of day. Well, I'm sorry. I just ain't much into that Chinese crap. You don't have food. nothing to do with anybody's nationality. No, I know. I just don't... You don't like the food. The only thing I like from that Chinese stuff is maybe like, like that steak and pepper thing or the something. Pepper but, steak. But I found that big hair in there at night, and that was the last time I ever ate any of it. Well, I found some in there at night, and I couldn't eat it, but... It didn't stop me from going back. I pulled a hair out of my mouth. It was probably 12 inches long. Good. And it wasn't mine. I just opened it and he was eating it. Yeah. You're making me want it, so hush. Well, since I'm making me something right now, it's okay. Look at that mess. I can't believe it, David Hall. What are you saving all that for? I'll show you what's the best thing to do with that. Like, I saved some of the ketchup and the jam and stuff for him to take to work. You might want that pecani, but I was duck sauce. Good. Time of day. I'm not usually wasteful, but I don't know what to do with the duck sauce. I don't know if I could use it for nothing anyway. That's all right. I don't need all that mess. Just save it. Maybe you want it someday for something. I don't think so. I got more than storage got. My How many is, years have you been saving that crap? About two or three months. No, not two or three no, months. No, two or three months, my year, foot. Probably a year. Two or three years, I'd say. No, that bag's just been hanging on not long. Got this at Christmas. Yeah, right. Christmas 2012. No. He get he goes somewhere and he gets honey. Our tartar sauce. He'll go somewhere and get honey and then he just keeps it. Alright. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and get your rice to cook and I've already got the water in there. My rice is gonna get rubberized. I got everything ready and then we had company, so that's the back one, right? I hope so. I think I need three cups. Yeah, my aunt came over and we was talking about the old days. Days were rough, weren't they? Yeah. But in a way, they were rough, but at the same time, they wasn't. It's kind of weird. It's kind of hard to explain. The camera's acting funny here. Hold on a second here. Let's see. All right, it's just doing okay now, I guess. Look at this rice. Well, I probably measured out three cups. I'm glad I didn't just dump it in there. Old Galaxy One's just barely hanging on. I'm going to get you a new one. 
That's your, that's your very first cell phone you got. How many years ago did you get this cell phone? That ain't the first cell phone I got. Well, I'm not talking about cell phone. Smart, I mean, um, smart whatever yeah, they call them. That's the first them. smartphone I got. What year did you get this whole thing? When they came out. It's been a good one, though. Yeah, it's been a good phone. I got another one. I don't know why you don't use it. It's called a Samsung. 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 <laughs> I'm reading it right here. It says Samsung. Just go ahead and put that extra sound in there. Why don't you? Well, that's what it says. <laughs> He's losing his grip tonight, everybody. So, did you used to make this years ago? Or? I've made it since my little girl. Well, my, well my, she's not little no more, but I've made it since my daughter was about eight, seven or eight. Ugh. How old is she now? She's getting ready to turn 42. Wow, that was a long time ago. I'm getting old, dude. <laughs> Me too. She turns 42 on Halloween. Ain't that something? I'm not sure if I got tricked or treated. No, I'm just kidding. I love her. I shouldn't say that. I love her a lot. I think the chicken's done enough for now. It's pretty done. It's not breaking up in little pieces. Or so you kind of cooked it on medium heat for about 15 minutes? Well, I cooked it till it's done. Yeah. Everybody knows when the chicken's done. I don't. Well, I'm sorry. I'm glad you don't do the cooking. <laughs> well, um, might be some dude like me don't know what you're doing. Listen, I want to tell y'all something. This is good. I was going to buy me one of them Dutch ovens, okay? Well... I got to thinking about it. I thought, you know what? I can put my pots in an oven. It won't hurt these handles and stuff. It won't even hurt them. Yes, it will. It it'll, it'll, melt. it'll melt them. No, it won't. Remember, I put one in there one day and turned it mm. over. I'm like, oh, no, my pot's in the oven. And I got to <clears> thinking they're ironclad. Yeah, you'll find out. Mine's seven layers of steel, David. Yeah. Watch that stove. Now, watch that thing smoke. Yeah, that plastic will melt into a big glob of poop. It don't melt. I'm telling you, it does not melt. You'll find well, out. Well, anyhow, I went ahead and... I don't have to get one. I got a pot that serves as a Dutch oven. So we're going to redo the lasagna show. Eventually, and, uh, but I can't right now. And the Le, Le, Le Frito. All right, I'm adding the, the broccoli. I just got like a, a head of fresh broccoli. Okay. And I cleaned it, washed it up and everything. And just broccoli florets. And I got, um, it was kind of long, but it wasn't real fat, the bell pepper. Green bell pepper. Yeah, and I got some onions. I think it's that hot one because they sure do smell. Whew. But you normally use sweet onions? Mm-hmm. Okay. This Becky gave me a couple of onions. My friend gave me a couple of onions and she said they were sweet onions and now I, I know they weren't sweet onions. They're not bad. I ate a couple of them. When? Well, I was talking to Bonnie. Oh. <laughs> they didn't burn you? No, I ate a whole bunch of them. Oh, okay. Then maybe yeah. they're just strong today. I don't know. Okay, and I uh, got some fresh mushroom. <clears throat> Hope that's enough. And that's all I'm going to put in it. You can add water chestnuts, green beans, just whatever you want to add. So you can personalize it yourself and put whatever you want to in it. Now I'm going to put, I opened this while ago. I don't know why I opened it. What is it? it? It's stir fry seasoning. My mama uses something different, and I'm not sure what she uses. Yeah, I got my mama and several of them cooking this a long time ago. Now, my dad's odd. He will not eat nothing modern, not hardly at all. Now, wait a minute. He will go to Chinese, and he will um, go to Mexican sometimes. But I think he likes Chinese better than the Mexican. And he's just odd. He doesn't want nothing but his beans and potatoes and biscuits. That's about all he wants. He'll eat cornbread. The only thing I ever see him eat is beans and potatoes and fatback. He likes that fatback stuff. And I'm going to tell you what. My dad's getting ready to turn 84 years I mean. Yeah, 84 years old on the 28th, and I'm telling you, he's doing pretty good. He was in the hospital with pneumonia. I need a couple of these. Yeah, but all them years of eating fat back it didn't bother him. He said his mom lived to be 96, and she aged her whole life. He's going to kill him. It looks like he's right, which I'm glad. I mean, I don't know if I should put two packs or not. It'll be okay. What did y'all have put in the past? Two packs or one? I don't know. It'll be okay. I can't remember. Ain't that something? I got a pool of water too, Dave, but you need to back up a minute, dude. Back up, dude. Oh, I love you, honey. Love you too. Oh, where's my new cup? I need to use my new cup. I wish you'd do it on my nose. We're out about a, I'll add a little bit at a time and see what I need because I got to steam this some. Um, get that mixed up down in there, though. On all the 
vegetables. Got to get mixed up in here. Can. Looks like you got too much in that pot. This is flimsy. Look at it. I don't want to turn my skill. I know I got a bad one. I can't use those. I usually don't take the lid off my rice, but I. I now, you should give the rice instructions on this because you've done that before in other videos about your rice. Well, I used to do it a different way, but a lot of people told me how to do it and it's easier. Believe it or not, I could put the water in there and just fill, put some rice in there and fill down in it and see how much it was, and it was right. It come out right, but. Now I know it's equal amount, so that's what I, if I put three cups of water, three cups of rice. I don't know why I never did look on the bag. I don't know. I just never did measure much. When you're doing dessert, some of them you do have to measure, though. I'm getting it. That's I'd like I, for us to do some more of Mom's old recipes sometime or another. We will. I'm going to do a little bit of bacon, too. I'm going to have to practice on some rolls. I don't know what my problem is with bacon. Some of it I'm just not good at. But I need to be better at it. You know why I think I'm not a real good baker? Because I don't eat much bread and stuff. Which is okay because you get too much sugar in it. Now let's put the lid. Y'all notice that that seasoning packet has enough in it already. You don't need to add no salt and nothing else probably. So you put Unless two. that's your personal preference. <clears throat> so you put two of those seasoning packets mm -hmm. and no salt and pepper. You got down. I like to wash my scissors. I'm always washing them scissors all the time. I'm washing those scissors. It smells real good. Already done it. Yeah, sure does. I haven't had breakfast. So we this don't. is not what you call Appalachian cooking, but um, it's okay. I make a little modern stuff too. I'm ready for something. I haven't had breakfast, and I didn't haul a truckload of wood, two truckloads of wood, uh, to my buddy, and um, I've been out there working on the truck, and, and I'm ready for something to eat. I got rice down in here somehow. You got to clean that out, David. All. I always make you clean the stove eyes, don't I? Yeah. It's your job. I know. I replaced him <laughs> my wise. I thought I'd make it be his job. I have to clean the oven and stuff, but I'll leave that for him. Thank goodness for eBay. What it's for that so old, I'm scared to mess with it. Too wouldn't much. be able to find that junk for the fix that stove with if it wasn't for eBay. No, because we went to Walmart and different places to find it. And we couldn't. We bought several things and it wouldn't fit. I know it. Okay, what we'll I come back in a minute. I cooked this chicken until it was starting to get tender. And then I put my vegetables and my seasoning pack in there. And um, you want to cook them until they're tender, but not, you don't want them to be mushy or soggy or nothing like that. And it don't really take them too long. So I cooked the chicken about 10 to 12 minutes. You know, it just depends on what size you cut them up to be. Because they're going to cook in here some more. They're going to cook a little bit more. So. Um, you just need to get your vegetables soft at this point, not soggy or nothing. You know, it could be a little bit crunchy, it doesn't matter. And the mushrooms and the stuff and everything. Man, I that smells good. I had some more mushrooms. I wonder if I got any in there. I don't know, but it sure does smell good. It does. Don't. Let me go look and see if I got some mushrooms. I could eat that stuff about, about the rice. Mushrooms, and I don't think what I had was enough. I've had a pack of fresh ones, so I'm adding a can of, I'm adding a whole can. We love them. I got Sadie to eat them, too. Yeah, she never did like them until you got well, her to she, try them. I don't but. think she'd like to kill I told her a story about my granddaughter. And one time, my granddaughter told me, she said, now nah, go get me a can of them beans. And she said, you don't have to drain them either. Just give them to me and give me a fork and I'll eat them. I said, really? And she said, yeah. And I said, when did you start doing that? And she said, I always love them now. And I love them. I said, okay. So I went and I said, is this what you want, Carly? And she said, no, man, I want beans. And I said, this is beans. She said, I want that kind. I want that kind. I said, you can just take me and show me what you want. So she went into the pantry and she got the can of mushrooms out. And she said, this is the kind of beans I want. And I said, well, okay. I never told her they weren't beans until she got old enough to know about it. Because if you get a child to eat something like that, you're lucky. Yeah. So I got, she ate them. And she, I gave her a fork and a can of mushrooms. I gave her that can, and she went and sat down behind the couch and ate them. I said, you don't have to hide. I gave them to you. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> it's good to remember stuff like that because she's 21 now, so I guess she was just a couple years old. 
And uh, that was so funny, though. I my, couldn't believe it. My brother's little girl, say, uh, Summer, she uh, loves anything that was, you know, vegetables and stuff. She never was one of those when she was when she was little. She always loved vegetables. That's good. They love yeah. vegetables. I mean, it was natural. It's hard to get them to eat them. So if they like anything, let them eat it. Don't sell them. <laughs> but her brother, it was completely different. It was so funny that you know, Roby only liked uh, chicken nuggets and macaroni and cheese. That's and frozen pizzas. And frozen pizzas. And when he was little, yeah. Frozen pizzas just... I cooked a many of them for him right there on that table, them little you know, frozen them pizzas. Little, and he's, what are they? What, he's about Trino's 18 years old now, and he was this yeah. little baby, and I'd cook them for him all the oh, time. I can't, he's 17 or getting ready to turn 18 soon, but I can't believe Roby is... He grew he it up, and he's he real big. He eats a lot yeah. now, and he's tall. Yeah. He eats a lot now. And he's always loved me, isn't that something? Yeah. Always loved me. Yeah, he took a natural liking to you right off the bat. Mm-hmm. Daniel did, too. Yeah. Daniel's real shy. Um, I gotta take him to work in the morning. Don't let me forget. Well, I told Bonnie I'd take him, but I like no, I'm, I'll take him to work in the morning. I have to go back out and get him. I don't know what time he gets off. He'll tell. He'll he tell. works at the Goodwill. Yeah. Check that. I notice when you wash your rice, it gets done a little bit quicker. I'm sorry, I never knew that in the past. I do now. Let me try it. It's getting there. Mm -hmm, done. It'll stay hot in that pot for a long time. So this is pretty much you just kind of cook the chicken for how long do you cook the chicken for? 10 to 12 minutes. And like I said, it depends on how big you make your chicken chunks. Mm-hmm. These are quite a, um, if you make them like one by one or something like that, these might be a little smarter. They cook up some. So then you mix it all up and then cook it again for about 10 or 15 minutes? And well, I'll tell you, I think this is probably about done, too. I, think I know, but how, how long, I mean, you mix this it up. This has been cooking about probably 10 minutes, and I'm so, sure it's probably done. So the chicken's got about 20 minutes on it, mm -hmm. basically? The mixed chicken, the chicken and vegetables has probably got about 20 minutes. So it's pretty much day. just a bunch of cutting up and That's mixing it all together. 20 to 22. The, the most time you spend is cutting up everything and washing it. It smells really good, though. You know it's good. I've made it plenty of time before, honey. Yeah, I know, but it smells really you know, good. I fix so many things, though. He, when I come back to something eventually, he's like, I ain't never had that. And I'm like, you had it a bunch of times. I've got a couple of things because it's sitting on the table. My, our, our aunt came and I left some things sitting over there. I'm not sure why, but it is. Anyway, I got a, a tablespoon. That's a tablespoon of minced garlic. You could, I'll just have to mix it up. It won't take but a couple minutes. And I got a tablespoon of brown sugar. It's light brown, so that's not enough. It's not that sweet. It'll make a little bit of difference. Though, not light much. brown. Light brown. If you had dark brown, that's fine, too. Dark brown sweetens quicker but or easier. Light brown's enough for now. So you're supposed to put that all in there and cook it, too? Yeah, but it, you know that garlic full of flavor right away, and so was the sugar. I could tell a difference in the smell already. How? I just can't. It smells like stir fry. <laughs> yeah. David Hall, Brendan Hall is hot. I haven't had that hour on today, believe it or not. Well, it's been getting cool. Now, it won't be long here yeah, in the mountains. It's been getting cool here, yeah. which has been rainy, too, and I'm so glad we needed the rain. Well, We've we got getting storms too. We got down to 59 degrees the other night, so it's getting cool. Fall's on the way. Look at what the storm. Of course, here in the mountains, like. it gets a little cooler, a little quicker. Yeah, sure does. I still like to go to the beach. Yeah, hoping we get to go this year. I don't think we will. We've but had hope so, so many problems this summer. I mean, our plumbing and just. <sighs> I know. I like to take the a... wood, the plumbing, and my dad's been in the hospital and. My mom's sister's getting ready to pass away. We've just had it, had it hard. I like to take a D8 dozer and just plow this place under and build a new one. Let me tell them something about my mom, my aunt. My aunt, they, she's got diabetes and it's in my mom's family. So they, she went in and they cut her foot off. Mm -hmm. And on a, it's on Friday and on Monday they cut it off except right down to here. And then. Well, they went back and cut 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 more yeah, off. Yeah, the, the third day later. But mm -hmm. then. Um, well, see, she had some gangrene or something in her foot, so when they took it off, they just decided it wasn't enough. So, um, 
It wasn't always all the way gangrene, but they could tell it was getting there. Because of the diabetes, you can't heal quick. So then she, they went in and took it off up to her hip, or they leave you a little bit to hook onto a prosthetic. Well, she was okay with all that, but then she had a, a heart attack. And they had to put some stents in, and she was just having such a hard time. Well, then her, she kept on her daughter and them to put her in the chair so she could sit up some, and they had to put her in a coma. So she was in a coma for about two weeks. She'd been in a nursing home. In a nursing home, she got infection in her leg. That's what happened in the nursing home. When they cut off up to her knee, she got infection in it there. And I said, I God, and I couldn't believe it. Well, after that, then they had to take the other part off, and that's when she, that's when she started... Um, getting a heart attack and they put the stents in and then they put her in a coma for two weeks and now her one of her lungs has collapsed. I'm going to tell you she has really had a hard time and now she's given up. Then she told my mom, I can't stand to hear my mother cry. I really can't. Just, I can't stand it. Well that's why she wanted to go home because she my knows it's time. Cried, my mother cried until she wasn't ready to let her go. Yeah. That's why she wanted to go on home. Cause she wanted to go home because she's tired of suffering and she just yeah. wants to let go. So they've given her morphine. They've called in hospice and they're giving her morphine stuff. She is in the hospital near home now. So she was not close to home in the beginning. But she's several miles away where the, her family couldn't get there as easy. And um, she's just had a hard time. And I told my mom, I said, Mom, when the Lord calls on her, even if she's giving up, he's not going until he's ready. And once he calls on her regards to how it happens, he's going to take her. So I, I don't understand if she's still got one lung, how she can just go. But the doctors give her two days to a week. And this is, well, she went to Giles Memorial yesterday. So today is um, the second day. But today they said they was giving her, now my dad told me this morning that my mom was already at the hospital. So I'm not real sure how long they was they're giving her two days to a week, but I don't think she's going to last that long. Okay. Well, it's done, and I'm going to make a plate. So how long did it cook inside this thing here? Probably about 15 minutes? Yeah, this is a nice pot. I love it. Um, probably, let's say 20 minutes, maybe 22 after I put that garlic in it and the sugar. I really cut back on a lot of my sugar use because I have RA and it don't fight nothing like that wow. at all, so I'm scared. It sure does smell good. Okay. Well, you're getting it here in just a minute. There's my rice. Yes, sir. It's perfect. Yeah. See how hot it is? And I'm just now taking the lid off. I didn't even stir it or nothing in these pots. You just turn it on and let it go. When it starts boiling, turn it down. There you go. Okay. Okay, let's get a plate going here for you, husband. Make sure I got the soccer spoon. I don't like this it. is breakfast, lunch, and, and supper all at one time. <laughs> and it's gonna be okay. It seems like here lately, the way it's always been though. Well, breakfast. I mean, you've been working so much in the wood and stuff. I've been so. working so much I can't hardly stand it. I'm so sore I can't hardly move anymore. Well, he keeps telling me that you're using too much wood, and I told him I don't want to hear it this year. I, this man's been calling me in the wood away, and I'm like, I don't want to hear it. I'm using what I want. I know, but. Knock, knock. Oh, good, I can really it. feel the age coming on. I'm getting old. Honey, if we're going to go to propane or something, we don't have to worry about that now. We've got plenty of tools till then. Yep. That man, I'm sure he gives the wood away, and I'm sure he's loving it because we are getting it. He's gotten some it good up. wood. We've gotten some white oh, oak, no. some red oak, some maple, some curly maple. Man. Curly maple. Curly maple. I haven't had this type of firewood in a long time. We've gotten some good. I hate to burn white oak. White oak is my favorite. Oh, we're gonna burn it. It's all cut up to burn now, right? I'll make me a little bit of rice after a while when I get ready for it. You know, I put a little bit of cream and sugar and butter in it. It's so good. Try to use Splenda in it. It's, uh, try to use a Splenda blend. All right. Yeah, honey, how, what do you think? You want to taste it? Yeah, let me try it. I'm starved. Let me give you some vegetables and chicken and everything to go. With it. Like I said, you can add uh, the uh, water chestnuts. Well, look at that mess. You can what? 
You can add water chestnuts, you can add green beans, there are several things you can add. What the heck is a water chestnut? Their water chestnuts are kind of crunchy, they're good. Huh. You can take this in his mouth hot and all, but I can't. Oh yeah, no problem. <laughs> no problem, Margaret. Mm. My nose is itching. Somebody's telling me to see us. We don't mm. want to go. Good, honey. That's hot. You want some of this juice over your rice? Mm hmm. That's good. It's good with some juice over your rice. Ah. If you ain't never had this before, you gotta eat it. Right, and it's good. It's it real is really good. good. That's all I do to mine. It's so easy and it's so good as a meal. I mean, I'm telling you, it's a one pot meal right there. Well, two pots we got rice. So, anyway, we want to thank you for watching tonight. And uh, please subscribe and give us some thumbs up. Appalachian <laughs> stir fire is pretty good. <laughs> well, it's not out of a bag in the frozen food department. I made it. So, anyway, we want to thank everybody for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.